In this video, I discuss risk-neutral probabilities. I don't derive the results in this video. I do that in a separate video, but I go over the key points. The first place to start is the delta. So the delta of an option is the number of shares that the option behaves like. So for example, if an option has a delta of a half, then if the underlying stock moves by $3, the option price will move by approximately one and a half. Now a portfolio consisting of long this option and short half a share will at least have no risk or at least temporarily have no risk. Effectively, we become indifferent to whether the stock goes up or down. Now, risk-neutral pricing depends on creating a portfolio that over a small period of time has no risk. For a long one option, we can sell delta shares and create such a portfolio. Note that if delta could be positive or negative on any option, and selling negative shares means buying them. Finally, if we own n options, where n could be positive or negative, again, owning negative five options means we've sold five options, then if we sell n times delta shares, we create our riskless portfolio. Okay, so let's go through our assumptions. We're gonna assume we have a stock trading at S at time T with two possible values at time T plus delta T. If the stock goes up, the stock is trading at S times U. If the stock goes down, the stock is trading at S times V. Now let's say we have a general derivative and we know its price at time T plus delta T. So either the derivative is worth D sub U if the stock goes up, or it's worth D sub D if the stock goes down. Now what we're trying to find is D, the value of the derivative at time T. We define the risk neutral probability as I said, I derive this elsewhere. So the risk neutral probability P is E to the R delta T minus D, all divided by U minus D. And we interpret P in the following way. In the risk neutral world, P is the probability of the stock increasing, or P is the risk neutral probability of the stock increasing. And one minus P is the risk neutral probability of the stock decreasing. And we have the following result, which is that D, the value of the derivative at time T, is equal to P times DU plus 1 minus P times DD, all multiplied by E to the minus R delta T. We can recognize this as looking like an expectation using these probabilities. And we say the value of the derivative is the expected payoff in a risk-neutral world discounted at the risk-free rate. Now these formulas, the formula for P and the formula for D, depend on being able to create this riskless portfolio. This riskless portfolio is created by computing the value of delta. This just is a convenient shorthand for the creation of that por portfolio and the solving for the value of D in, under those constraints.